We begin today with what was expected to be a three-day hearing regarding Nova Scotia's Incompetent Persons Act. It started this morning and wrapped up after less than two hours. CTV's Sarah Ritchie was there and she joins us now live from the newsroom. What happened this morning, Sarah? Well, Priya, things happened quite quickly this morning. Lawyers representing Landon Webb, his parents, Brenda and Daryl Webb, and Nova Scotia's Attorney General came together and agreed on a number of issues right away. Most importantly for Landon, his parents have agreed to be removed as his legal guardians. An order is being written up declaring that he no longer needs a guardian at all, and that's because doc a doctor's assessment has showed that he is medically competent. The 25-year-old was declared incompetent under the province's Incompetent Persons Act. His parents have said that he functions at a level of a 10 or 12 year old child but Landa Webb has always maintained that is not the case. He's argued he doesn't need to be kept in a group home or a secure facility. Landon was in court this morning and here's what he had to say. Well I'm just really pleased that I have my life back and I really I'm in a lot of shock and really overwhelmed and uh, I really don't know exactly what for sure I'm gonna do I just I'm just gonna actually just take it all in and we just go for a walk and... But this case Enjoy. isn't just about Land and Webb. He is challenging the constitutionality of the Incompetent Persons Act. The Provincial Department of Justice has already said it wouldn't oppose that challenge. So the lawyers in this case agreed this morning that some sections of the act are unconstitutional and should be declared invalid. The provincial government will have one year to rewrite those sections of the law. The only question left to answer is whether Landon is entitled to financial compensation. His lawyers argued he should be awarded $25,000 for the harm he suffered as a result of being declared incompetent that will be determined later in the judge's written decision Priya we'll, we'll certainly be uh, following the latest on that thank you so much Sarah you're welcome